Shalom, Israel, Shalom, Shalom. You know, first and foremost, I want to give all honor and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, in the name of His Son, Yahweh Shah. I know this is going to be a short video. You know, this video is going into like, um, you can't wear what pertains to a woman. You know, I did a video on this before, but, um, you know, I'm going to show you a few examples, especially in Hollywood. They love putting black men in dresses, you know, for roles, for funny roles. And people think it's funny. You know, we all thought it was funny before we came into this truth. You know, before we before we knew about Deuteronomy 22 and 12, we came, you know, we used to watch Tyler Perry. Tyler Perry had a wig on, you know, a dress, a whole bodysuit, you know, um, playing the whole another person, Medea. You know, he get millions of dollars from off his movies because people enjoy seeing that and it's coming to people. But once you wake up and you realize, hey, the most high not dealing with that, you know what I'm saying? That's that's homo that's that that's um that's a, that's a homosexual move. If you put a dress on, it don't matter if you're doing it for money, for an acting role. You know, just like brothers, you have brothers kissing on um in Hollywood on, on movies and stuff like that. But they got whole wives behind the scene. They kissing and they talking about it's for a movie. It's, it's, it's acting. No, it ain't acting. You just kiss the dude. There's no acting in that. No matter how much money you getting, you shouldn't be putting no dress on. The Most High is not dealing with how much money you getting to put that dress on. You shouldn't be putting no dress on, period. And I'm telling you, it's a it's an attack on the uh, the uh, so-called black men in Hollywood. They love asking black men to put on dresses. They love seeing it. They they like because they like to laugh. They like they want to make black men a mockery. They want to make us a mockery, and they fear us. So they know the only the only way to not allow them to fear us. It's for us to wear a dress to make us feminine. Look at this. If you can see, it ain't loading. Most of these top big actors, these so-called comedians, they don't wear dresses. And I'm on, I'm on the road, but you can barely see it. Look, you got Martin Lawrence, Jamie Foxx, you got uh, Kevin Hart, you got the uh, Wayne's brothers. I can't really see who else. Martin, I can't really. Oh, you got Norbit. Um, what? Who play? Who was? Who was Norbit? Um. I forgot what's who played Norbit. Uh, Eddie Murphy. You know what I'm saying? Most of these top big comedians, they wore a dress, man, and they have to do that. They have to wear a dress. You got um, uh, dang, dang, uh, dang. What what brand name is? Um, I forgot brand name. Um, but yeah, y'all see. Uh, but they they make they love making the brothers wear dresses, and they they think it's a joke. And you know the people that's over these over these movies and over these shows are so-called white men. They getting all the money off these shows, so they they love making Jake put on a dress, man, because they know they read the Bible. They know that we not we not supposed to have dresses on, man. They they laughing like it's a joke. There's not no joke for a grown man to put on a whole dress, whole makeup, whole wig, get his 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 his, his, his fingers painted, his toes painted. That's what I'm that what girls do. It ain't no way a grown man should be doing that for a role. If you, first and foremost, if you're a comedian, if you're funny overall, you shouldn't have to put on a dress to try to make yourself funny. If you're already funny, like if, you, if people are already laughing at you, what's the point of putting a dress on for that? You know what I'm saying? Like, what's the point of wearing a dress? You got Tyler Perry and you got uh, T.D. Jakes. T.D. Jakes had Tyler Perry come and speak at his church. It, Tyler Perry shouldn't be speaking at no church when he's not even keeping the commandment. He not even keep, he wearing a he just like a whole female. The Most High is not dealing with you just like a whole female. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna pull the priest up and I'm gonna show you. Dave Chappelle was the only brother that spoke out against that, and they had to they had to destroy his image. Dave Chappelle was the brother that spoke out against it. He told you that they tried to make him put on a dress. He wasn't down for that. You had you had the strong you had the Buffett what what the brother Jody uh. No, the dude that played on Baby Boy. Um, let me see. Let me let me get. Let me get. Let me get him. Um, Y'all know who I'm talking about. This is folly, man. This is how you know it's an agenda. It's all an agenda. They want to feminize our men. You got yeah. His name Ving uh uh Ving Ram. I think yeah. Right here. This man. This the brother that played on. This the swole brother. The one that punched Jody in the mouth. You know the one that was um. They play, he played in another movie too It's like a cowboy It's like a racist movie He played in one of those movies too But if you want your career to take off in Hollywood That's why we say That's why we call it Hollywood 
we don't call it Hollywood. We call it Holly Weird. If you want your career to take off in the, the Wi-Fi. In two miles, take exit 435 toward I-10 East. Kind of, the Wi-Fi kind of tripping right now. I'm on the road. But if you want your if you want your career to take off in Hollywood, you have to do some crazy stuff, man. You have to put on a dress. If you're a comedian, you have to do something crazy. You have to do something tight crazy if you want your career to blow up. And this man right here, this we know. If you know this brother, you know this brother. Um, really built up, man. There's no way this brother should be wearing the dress. And I'm trying to wait. I'm trying to. Uh, hopefully my Wi-Fi. Well, hopefully it start. Um, what's that movie he played on? It's something about Holiday. Uh, it's the movie called Holiday Sun. I ain't even finished watching that movie, man. Man had a as as big as this man is. He played a drag queen for a role for millions of dollars for a month for a bag. They could have got a girl to do it. Like, what's the point of them getting a man to do this? Could have got a female. But they know what they doing though. It's an agenda, man. They love putting black men in dresses. And look at this man. You can, I can, bro. If if the Wi-Fi was going, if the uh, connection was going smoother, bro, I would show y'all like, bro. Just watch Baby Boy. If you go to, if you watch Baby Boy and then watch this, you would be like, man, you'd be like, man, what is this, man? Just from watching Baby Boy, now this man don't got a dress on. It ain't acting, none of that. There's no way this brother should be wearing a dress. No way. Take exit 435, then keep left huh? to the fork. I'm straight, I'm straight, I'm straight. Hey, it's, it's gonna load up. Keep left at the fork. If it's the most high wheel, it's gonna load up. Tyler, I see you lost. Look at that. Continue on I-10 East. This is the brother that was this the brother that was on um Baby Boy. It can't load um this is Melvin from Baby Boy, man. Now, if you've seen Baby Boy, you can't really see it because the connection I'm on the road. But just look up images of Ving um, Ving Rams. In a quarter mile, type in keep holiday. left to stay on I-10 East. This is him, man. This is him. Now I'm finna get the precept to show y'all what's going on, man. I'm finna get the precept. Keep left to stay this on I-10 East. This man had a dress on, man. It's lucky for the uh. For the GPS in the background, but y'all see, y'all see what's going on. You got, you got, uh, Lil Nas X. So like, you got Lil Nas X. You know, you think you want to do that? Like these actors, they don't be, they don't be raising their hands. Talking about, oh, I put a dress on. You think they want to do that? People come to them with a bag to argue this amount of money. You know, if you put a dress on, you know, I think, I think you should do this, and they'll do it for money because our people rush up money. Our people love uh, money, man. They and love, I like money. Spend it on, on crazy stuff. Our people love doing uh love money. They rush the money so much that they, 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 they'll do anything. They don't care about their image. As long as they got that bad, they don't care about putting a dress on. Look at this man, man. That's a dude. But in the movie, in the whole movie, he, he acting like a female. Like, he acting like a whole female. Can't really. But y'all see, y'all know what I'm saying. Look at the images, man. This is a man from uh, 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 Baby Boy. You would never thought he'd put a dress on. You would never thought you would see this man from Baby Boy put a whole dress on Melvin. Let me get the priest up. Yeah. It's, it's off, man. There's no way, you know what I'm saying? Brother should be putting a dress on. It don't matter. Like I said, it don't matter if it's for a role. You know, it shouldn't be. If you funny, you funny. If you automatically funny, if people already laugh at your jokes. Your jokes. If you a stand-up comedian and um, and people laugh and coming to pay for you to come watch you and you and people already laughing at you, what's the point of putting on the dress? You already funny. Chris Tucker. He put a dress on. Why? What's the point of putting a dress on, brother? We seen you on Friday. We know that you funny. You did stand up uh, comedy. We know that you funny. What's the point of putting a dress on? It ain't like that's gonna be your last movie ever that you gonna play in. It's crazy. You got all these other movies that you can add in. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 12. Thou shalt. Oh, no, 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 no,
just slipped my mind. Y'all, damn. Uh, what's that preacher? A woman uh, should not wear what you tainted to a man. What I had told you. Is it? Is it in Deuteronomy? Uh, thanks. So. Let me see. Is it? Type in Deuteronomy 7 and 8. Nah, that ain't it, damn. I mean, Deuteronomy chapter chap 22, verse 7 and 8. I forgot what, man. It just slipped my mind, man. It's like it, it's like it. 22 and 5. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertains unto a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment, for all that do so are an abomination to, unto the Lord thy God. So these brothers think it's a joke. They put on a woman's garment, put on a woman's dress. Brothers think it's a joke, but the, the most time not looking at it as acting. He's not looking at it as a movie. Looking at he, you as an abomination. As an abomination. He's looking at you as an abomination. He's not dealing with that. He's not dealing with that, man. And when Yahweh come, he's going to kill you. He's going to kill you. Yahweh is going to kill you if you come back with a whole dress on for an acting role. He's going to kill you. He's going to remember that. And then when he comes, he's going to kill you. He's going to kill you. He's going to kill them brothers that don't want to hearken and listen. And people be doing, like like I said before, Kissing roles, saying they be kissing the same sex for an acting role yeah. in movies and stuff, yeah. but they talking about they ain't gay, they ain't homosexual. You homosexual, yeah. that it don't matter if it's acting or not. You just kiss the dude on camera, brother. That's that's it don't, there's no acting in that. You just kiss the dude, you know. So, so that's why I'm going into like it's an attack on the black men, especially in Hollywood. Like they know what they're doing. You you don't see you barely see white men with dresses on. If they so called comedians, they don't have to wear no dress. And they call them people. Yeah, like that. Come on, man. We we care about what the most I think. We don't care about this place, man. We don't care about the wickedness of this place. We're not finna get down with the wickedness of this place, man. The most I not dealing with that. So I'm finna show I'm finna show y'all what Dave Chappelle said, cause Dave Chappelle wasn't going for it. He was not going for putting the dress on. And it shows you that they actually come. Yeah, come. He was the only one. And they show you that shows you out right there that uh, it's an attack on the brothers in Hollywood because they were trying they were trying their hardest. Hollywood. It was. It's an attack on the brothers in Hollywood because they were trying their hardest. They kept coming back to this man, asking him to put a dress on. So he's not the only person that they that they do that to. It couldn't be. But he the only brother that actually said, "I'm not finna put no dress on. I'm funny how I am. Why do I need to put a dress on?" He was a smart brother, so they had to destroy his image. They had to tell you that he was on uh crack or coke, that he bugged out. Then they had to clone him. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm finna get to the video. Y'all can watch it. You know what I'm saying? Dave Chappelle. my brother phone by the way so you see some fortnite you know what i'm saying ah. it's your phone he was on oprah show and Oprah, Oprah was looking so awkward. She was looking like, man, she like, she, you know, we know Oprah uh, elite. We know that she one of the elites, but she was looking like, man, stop talking. She didn't want him to expose the industry because she know how it get now. But Dave Chappelle didn't care. Let me check this out. If this video don't work, y'all can watch this video on y'all own. It's called Dave Chappelle Interview. No dress for me. He was not down. Dave Chappelle was not putting no dress on. He cared about his manhood. He cared about his manhood. He was not finna go outside, put no dress on. I mean, back. I'm a conspiracy theorist to a degree. Like, when I, I connect dots that maybe shouldn't be connected, I don't know. But certain dots, like when I see that they put every black man in the movies in a dress, some point in their career, I'll be connecting them. Down. Like, why all these brothers gotta wear a dress? That's happened to me. I'm doing a movie with Martin. Yeah. The movie's going good. So I walk in a trailer. I'm like, man, this must be the wrong trailer because there's a dress in here. <laughs> they come in, it's 
the writer comes in. I think he's the writer. He's like, they listen, we got this hilarious scene where Martin's sneaking out of jail. So he disguises you as a prostitute. <laughs> and he put this dress on. And it, huh? What? The prostitute? No, nah, I'm not doing that. I don't feel comfortable with that. And he put this dress on, and it, huh? What? The prostitute? Nah, I'm not doing that. I don't feel comfortable with that. That should have been in a discussion. What? You don't feel comfortable with it. I mean, it's a hilarious bit. All the greats have done it. So, well, if all the greats have done it, it's kind of hacky, right? You're right. So why don't we just not do it? Because I don't feel comfortable wearing a dress. Oh, come on, Dave. Listen, we, we got it all set up. We're supposed to shoot. Every every minute you waste costs this much money. You know, the pressure comes in. Huh. I'm now I'm not wearing no dress, man. I'm funnier than a dress. Just give me something funny to say. I don't need to wear no dress to be funny. What am I, Milton Berle? You know, we're going like this. And then finally he's like, ah, and he, he leaves. And then like the director comes, Dave, it really would be great if you wear the dress. What is wrong? What is this, a uh, broke back mountain in here? So, <laughs> so then, <laughs> I wear the, I wear the dress. I don't want to wear the dress. I want to wear this dress. You know what I mean? This is, oh gosh, this guy's so difficult. They leave. Now the producers comes, come on. I wear the dress. I don't want to wear the dress. I want to wear this dress. You know what I mean? This is, oh gosh, this guy's so difficult. They leave. Now the producers comes, come on, David, would be so great. I mean, and then I started thinking about it. All the comics that I've seen, man, you know, strong brothers, why, why are they putting us in these dresses? But the minute it was clear, I was adamant, I'm not wearing a dress, I'm not wearing the dress. All right, fine, think of something else. That comes back 10 minutes later, the whole new scene, how, damn, how did you write the scene so fast? You know, it's like, so, you gotta take this. Alright, so that's just the video going into, um, you know, Dave Chappelle. He wasn't going for it. And they kept coming back, trying to get him to put a dress on. He wasn't going for it, man. He wasn't going for it. So, but a lot of brothers do fall for that trap in Hollywood. They put the dress on for a bag and they gonna get destroyed, you know, in the end. So, brothers came with, the, and even not even, Outside of Hollywood, brothers shouldn't be putting dresses on, you know. And a lot of brothers do that because they look up to these rappers. And some of these rappers are weird. They bugged out, too. So you can't really be on that. And you also have uh, Cat, um, was it Cat Williams? I think Cat Williams exposed the industry, too. I don't think he ever put a dress on, you know what I'm saying? So they had to they had to destroy his image. So if you don't do what they say in Hollywood, that's what we say. Hollywood is real. It's very wicked, man. Hollywood is very wicked. If you don't do what those folks say, they're going to destroy your image or even worse, they'll kill you. You know, so this Buck the King, I want to get all under glory to the Heavenly Father. Howard, Bahashimi, Hamashah. Say Shalom.